Hey guys, it's getting dark very early here in Rhode Island. Uh, tonight, sunset was at 422. Well, it's um, about 45 minutes later. I just got off work and I ran right over here to the park right next to the shipyard where I'm working at. I looked on, on the uh, maximum usable frequency and it looks like the 10 meter band might be open for just a little while longer. So I've got a great antenna. I just was out with it uh, using it. It's the... Um, the CBL 561 little mobile antenna from Radiotity. And I'm just going to, this is what it's all about and why I love that antennas like that. I just, I'm going to pop the mag mount on the hood of the car, uh, hood of my Jeep, actually. I parked right here near the water as the sun is fading away. I'm going to put this thing up in the air and see if I can, you know, as we're fading into night, um, right now, how, how long I can stay on the 10 meter band and if I can make, some contacts, a contact, any contacts. Let's see. Let's put this thing up and see how, see what happens. Here's the setup. That is the Narragansett Bay. I'm looking due south right there. That is, if you can see it, the bridge over to Newport. And uh, it is darker than this really looks. Here it is. There's the uh, Radiotity CBL 561 antenna here on the mag mount. The Radiotity mag mount on my Jeep. So um, the light you're seeing is actually from my camera. It is dark out here. Let's go. Let's get in here and see how much longer the 10 meter band will stick around. And here inside the Jeep, got my G90. Want to see? Um, you know, I've used this antenna in the setup, setup with the uh, QT80 that I have. I want to see how it performs with the G90 with just 20 watts here. So um, let's get on here real quick. We don't have a whole lot of time, I'm sure. Let's see if we can make some contacts. Whiskey 5 power supply calling. CQ10 listening. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf. Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Uh, good afternoon. Name is Peter. Uh, Peter, I'm in northern Texas, about 55 miles north of Dallas. K4 Oscar, Golf Oscar, to be a 5 PS, good. QSL, uh, Peter, my name is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm 20 watts uh, mobile, sitting in a Jeep in Rhode Island. Uh, in the, it's nighttime here, sitting here in the Jeep, uh, 20 watts, uh, looking out over the Narragansett Bay in Rhode Island. Yeah, QSL. Okay, the 20 watts in the mobile. I have some QR Mexico, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to hold these. Your signal's not, you're not bad right now. You've got a 5 and 6, 56 in, uh, in Texas. So QSL? QSL, QSL, you're a 56 here as well into Rhode Island. Well, thanks for the contact. I'll get out of the way and let you make some others as uh, 10 meters is dying here. I just wanted to see if I could make a couple before, the, before it got too dark. All the best in 73, my friend. Good luck, uh, working a few more. The band's pretty open here, but I guess it's, uh, four times it's there, 525, so I'm sure it's getting dark. 73, you take care, W5PS. 73. Well, there you go, a nice 20 watt contact down to Texas as things were fading away. Um, up and down the dial, the thing I love about the, uh, the Zygu is being able to use the, uh, use that uh that waterfall and really see what's going on gotta be honest with you though it didn't last and it hasn't last long uh making that one contact on 10 was great so uh i'm gonna go over now and um and, and check out the 12 meter band and just punch the atu um and see if i can uh and make a contact on there let me give this a shot on the 12 meter band now because that should not quite be gone yet even though the 10 meter band is <laughs> Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Q 
Kilo kilowatt four Oscar Golf Oscar. Well, there you go. That was uh, that was tough. I got to be honest with you. Instead of doing it right and uh, adjusting that antenna, which is dark, I just don't have time to do it. And just like I said, this was a quick little activation. Um, I heard Japan. There he was. I could hear Japan well. Just could not get through. And uh, it was great to hear him. I mean, hey, I bet with a, a better antenna, maybe a little bit more power or whatever in a different situation, I might have made gotten made that contact. But um, that's a testament to the G90's tuner that it tuned the antenna for that. I got to be honest with you, it tuned hard to get, but it it, it tuned it. But um, this antenna is really made for 11 and 10 meter band. Well, there you go. Um, I'm not the greatest. I, I was kind of hoping that um that right now would be able to maybe get towards the Pacific a little bit on 10 meters. I didn't hear anything. I heard I heard a guy in Texas, and I heard another in Louisiana, and I could hear some real, 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 real faint, low-level California uh, contacts in there. And um, so um, band conditions were, uh, they look good all day, but uh, just it's too late. Uh, the 10-meter band is uh, is fading away here. And as we see it now, it's gone, and um, and, and it's <laughs> until tomorrow. So I think uh, these evenings, when I get off now through the winter, um, it's going to be um, it's time for me to start working forty and sixty and maybe eighty meters, and um, and doing that and, and experimenting with that because um, I don't have any daylight anymore, and I want to operate two or three times a week uh, portable when I get off work. So um, I think that's what you're going to start seeing here on the channel real soon, and I'll. As much as I really want to take advantage of the 10 meter band right now at the peak of the solar cycle, I think that's going to have to happen on the weekends there for sure. Anyway, it was a quick video, quick, quick activation. I, I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, if you like playing HF ham radio, um, please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO73, my friends. Stay salty.